Hey, what's up? It's D Man. Yeah, yeah. And I'm here to talk about a breakthrough in science and technology in the health industry. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of those things go hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? And it's just amazing how the world works. Single dose gene therapy is potentially life changing for adults with hemophilia. Oh my gosh, see, that's amazing. See, like, I like when I hear stories or I read stuff about breakthroughs in the world and positive stuff just happening and, you know, things that can lead to a better world, better health, new developments, new studies based off discovery. See, I love, see, that's amazing. It says adults with hemophilia B saw their numbers of bleeding episodes drop by an average of 71% after single infusion after a single infusion of gene therapy. So that's kind of tight. Like, you know, these are the breakthroughs that they doing, man. According to the results of an internal phase three clinical trial by researchers from the University of Pennsylvania, Perelman School of Medicine. Um, that's what they came up with. That's what they said they seen when they got the results from um, trying out this single cell therapy. And um, it looks like it's pretty promising so far. Um, hemophilia is a genetic disorder that limits the blood's ability, ability to clot and affects around over 30,000 people in America, especially males, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, when it's left untreated, it can cause, you know, spontaneous bleeding at any time. And this particularly occurs, you know, inside the joints which over time can cause painful joint damage and a mobility issue. And I don't think we want no mobility issues out here, man. I think we want to move and be as mobile as we can be. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially when it comes to suffering or facing, you know, things like this. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not a game. Like, I, that's painful. I think, like, when I have pain, it's like, sometimes when I think about it, it's like suffering. Because like, it's like, sheesh, it's harsh, you know, it doesn't feel good on the body. Um, it's, it's not a joke, but um, anyway, it's just amazing that they're making breakthroughs. And I, I like to see stuff like this. Um, life changing impact. Currently, for patients with hemophilia B, the standard preventive care is ongoing infusions of factor nine, which is generally effective but burdensome. It, it, it can be taxing on the person and the body and everything. It says, depending on the specific product, a patient requires regular infusions anytime from once every two weeks up to several times a week. Most patients learn how to put their own IV um, infusions at home, you know what I'm saying? Because they have to constantly go back to do it. So they're like, well, instead of us going there to do it, let me just do it at home. Show me the way I'll be good. I won't prick myself a particular way that somebody else might prick me and I don't want to feel, you know what I'm saying? And I'll, I'll take care of myself. You know, so it's amazing to see that um, these breakthroughs are coming through because, I mean, that seems like a lot. You know what I'm saying? A lot of um, um, injections and, you know, it's, it's, it's not a game. But it says, by contrast, the new gene therapy only requires a single dose. And most patients in the study did not need to resume prophylactic factor nine treatment. See, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? See, just like that. As opposed to going back to back and back to back, you know, it's not a game. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, they're saying that is not a cure. They don't want to run with that yet. You know what I'm saying? But they do feel like, you know what I'm saying, it's 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 making big progress. And that's that's what I like to see. You know what I'm saying? I think it's good and we need to continue to do things that lead to more progress and, you know, developments in the world you know what i'm saying because when we do stuff like that it just makes our world better and um that's what i want to see peace out